हेलो एवरीवन सो ए बिग हैप्पी दिवाली टू यू आई होप यू आर गोइंग टू एंजॉय दिस दिवाली विथ योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स एंड आई होप दैट यू विल गेट पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड्स फ्रॉम दिस दीपावली 2022 सो एज लाइक ऑलवेज आई एम हियर विथ ए न्यू टॉपिक everyone knows what is diwali and all so what is the linkage of diwali with our agriculture being agriculture student i just want to discuss this topic that what is the relationship of this diwali with this agriculture which impact is there of diwali on this agriculture in this video we will discuss properly so i hope it will be very interesting one to understand what is the different traditional cultures are there ऑफ दिवाली विथ योर एग्रीकल्चर हाँ तो कैसा रिलेशनशिप है दिवाली का एग्रीकल्चर के साथ क्या क्या इम्पैक्ट है दिवाली का वो सब हम डिस्कस करेंगे सो द वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स बिगिन वी ऑल नो दिवाली इट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फेस्टिवल इन इंडिया पर्टिकुलरली थ्रू आउट द इंडिया नॉर्थ इंडिया साउथ इंडिया एवरीवेयर and it is also known as the festival of lights as it is celebrated with rows of light hmm sabko pata hai to this is also having some impact some association with agriculture okay in a significant way and this is also a celebration of the abundant rice crop that is almost ready to be harvested at the time of diwali only or after diwali okay so let us first understand why this diwali is celebrated okay so you can see when sri ram he has defeated uh, ravan he has killed ravan then he returned to his home ajodhya he uh, returned okay in that we are calling it as what your uh, the uh, end of the devil and uh, starting of this uh, ram raj okay he has uh, ruled ajodhya okay afterwards so this end of darkness that's why what is your diwali is celebrated okay it is uh, celebrated as the lord ram's triumphant return from sri lanka to his capital of ajodhya after eliminating the demon that is ravan it is celebration of the victory of good over evil i already have told homes are decorated with decorated with rows of light while most of the families are together for five days for your celebration it is considered very auspicious and people involved in business and trading to start their new fiscal year from this day according to the goddess lakshmi they will worship and they will start their business okay different food items okay families all at together okay they will light in their home clean their home then light in their home do some uh, this uh, puja then they eat the things and they use crackers and all to make it memorable okay so anyway this is the mythology uh, traditional you can tell uh, we should not tell mythological we respect it so this is the traditional culture what is going on okay so now we will discuss about our topic is how it is helpful okay for uh, your agriculture okay what is the significance relation with agriculture now we will discuss this festival is also associated with the agriculture related aspect is in a significant way okay it is also a celebration of the abundant rice crop that is almost ready to be harvested almost not ready to be harvested but almost ready to be harvested diwali normally falls around your month of october to november okay as you can see october which is also known as the season of kharif when the crop of fresh rice is widely available in the fields okay ready to be harvested rice second one similarly Diwali occasion also contributes in insect control as the timing for this festival becomes all the more important as it generally coincides with the rise in insect population especially in the month of shravan that means when rainfall starts what happens insect population generally increases but when diwali start winter month increases we all know what happens in rain in season what happens your insect population will be more and gradually it is decreasing yes or no so what they believe when people use this light and all this fire and all the, there is a belief system that if you move with a muscle they will destroy the large number of insect again what happens towards this light insect are attracted so that also may kill the insects 
but anyhow there is a climatic factor also because climate also changes to winter month which may be also negative towards the insect population growth next the population of insect increases during the final season of cultivation which coincide with the diwali mostly the number intensifies towards your kartika amavasya that it often hampers day to day life activities the usage of masal dihuri dipo and latan are used during this time to attract the insect and to kill them just like your modern light trap in fact in historic period also farmers use fire and establish the light trap after observing that many insect pests were attracted towards light especially nocturnal positively phototrophic insect they started controlling insect population then okay uh, bone fires were lit to attract the rice bugs moths which then died them in the flames this practice is seen in odisha our state to a large extent years ago light traps were often used in the country in order to control army borrowers army worms leaf hopper seed box mole crickets leaf folder plant hopper root weevil case worm and different caterpillars all those positively phototrophic insects okay nocturnal one next another one significant you see first we have discussed about this uh, falling of uh, ready to harvest rice second is use of light trap third one is use of this conch or you call it sankh sankh yes or no huh? blowing a conch the cell which produces sound which emits a sharp note like that of a trumpet and during this period what happens the paddy bug sucks paddy at the milky stage generally they will go away this is the gandhi bug yes or no huh? so it attacks in the milky stage so if you put this sankh if you uh, make this sound then sound has some amplitude the what they will do they will repel away the insect just like some chi sound will come high amplitude sound plus is like cone sound also repel the insect it has been observed that blowing of the cones is effective in controlling this pest to a large extent in some states american researchers also agree that this biologic control is one of the best practice for crops like paddy okay very interesting one the next one we already have discussed light trap according to researchers this use of neem and light okay masal dihuri traps were the most preferred technique used by odisha farmer in past farmers use light trap to eliminate the nocturnal flying insect we already have discussed if you want to know more means you can go for our uh, mechanical control in physical control we have discussed more properly okay which are there in our channel you can see in organic agriculture insect light trap is one of the very effective tools of insect pest management in organic agriculture because no insecticide will be used here just attract the insect and kill them next you see kem is a ritual in sri lanka okay which is meant to attract and foster the birds that are the main biological agent in traditional agriculture what is the meaning they will use some of the commodities which will attract the birds and what these birds will do they will feed on the harmful insect which feed on the plant okay this ritual involves offering to local deities in the evening before commencement of cultivation and consist of a standard mixture of roasted pulses some foods flowers and many lighted oil lamps while lamps attract the insect food and pulses attract the birds you see lamp they are doing to attract the insect food they are giving to attract the birds birds came insect came birds will feed on the insect also yes or no so that's how the insect are then killed before the cultivation the key remedy is to smear sandalwood paste in sandalwood whatever the insect are coming immediately on the wound to hold the rabies okay so anyhow this is the method okay so in these are the relationship of agriculture with your दिवाली मोस्टली एंटोमोलॉजी पार्ट ओनली व्हिच इज माय डिपार्टमेंट बड़ बड़ुआ हो अंधार आस आलो रे जाओ पुरुषोत्तम रे महाप्रसाद खाई बाईस पावछे गड़ गड़ा था दैट मीन्स हियर व्हाट एपन्स वी कॉल आवर ट्रेडिशनल दैट मीन्स यू कैन टेल आवर आंसेस्टर्स ओके आवर ग्रांड फादर एंड हू एवर आर नॉट देर विथ अस नाउ वी इन्वाइट देम फॉर एस दिस शॉर्ट लिविंग टू गाइड अस इन आवर और एनलाइटन आवर पाथ ओके we just call it we do the puja for them okay you see it is written meaning o oh, for fathers our ancestors come in the dark of the evening we light your way to the heaven that means we are guiding also them yes or no the significance of the ritual is that we show respect to our ancestor who reinforce their absence from the physical world by our presence okay 
Brahmins celebrate in a different way. They hold only the balita roll cotton. Uh, cotton. That you see what happens nowadays. This uh, salita is used, but at that time the cloths were used. Okay, it differs from part to part. Or with dipa instead of kauriya sticks, jute sticks also some use. Some use the sugar can. Yes or no? Huh? So this mantra you all of us know. Dipam jyoti param brahma. Dipam jyoti janardana. Dipam haratu papam. Dipa jyoti namastute. Okay. Very nice one. Anyhow, I hope you like the video. So I want to wish you happy Diwali. May the lamps of Diwali illuminate your life. May the color of Rangoli usher in happiness. May the delicious Diwali desert our sweetness to your life. And may this Diwali shower you with all that you have used for ever. Okay. So on this auspicious day of Diwali, let us celebrate the victory of good over evil and the triumph of light over darkness. Happy Diwali. Thank you.